Welcome back to Golf in America. Potential greatness. The vast possibilities make it immeasurable and impossible to predict. But when you wake up one morning and witness a gift resonating from your young child, dreams and plans for a bright future begin to formulate. Amari Avery is a typical six-year-old girl with a gift. Amari began playing golf about three, three and a half. I bought a short club to hit, and then we still hit balls in the house. That's how I got her started. All right, skill roll. Well, I've worked with thousands of kids over the years. She does stuff that six, seven-year-olds aren't physically supposed to do. Labeled a prodigy for her beautiful smooth swing, G to the I to the R L S. Amari spends free time honing that tremendous skill. The part of the game I think she loves the most is putting. She likes to putt. Ah, that was so easy. Most kids want to whack the ball. G to the I to the R L S. Putting is the key to golf. The greatest thing that I can do is to get the ball in the hole. I practice, practice, practice. She has a good golf swing and hits a lot of good shots right. on the course. I'm still trying to help her score better and manage her way around. Give her more ownership of her swing. We only practice for an hour, hour and a half a day. You know, you got to school, you got daycare, then you go out and do your golf academics and then back, but it's every day. At first, I thought maybe she's a little too young, but as time went on, I could see that she enjoys going out, hitting balls. From what I could see right now, she enjoys it. When I get a boogie, I just ask myself to get a birdie on the next hole. Amari's early gift for golf prompted the Averys to enter her competitively in junior golf events. She won her first first place trophy at four and a half. She beat a 10 year old girl that day. This is how you build your golf resume. This is how you build your whole golf career if you want to be a professional golfer and start competing at an early age. Amari's connection to a former can't miss golfing prodigy drives her family to emulate a similar path. They actually share the same birthday, December 30th. I'm African-American, my wife's Filipino, so Asian and black, born in the same county, Orange County, and they also share a particular uh, hole-in-one at Hartwell at around the same time of age. And the odd part is the hole-in-ones came 28 years apart, and they're 20 years apart in age. Now, that's pretty, pretty phenomenal. One authority on Tiger Woods' formative years is former swing coach Rudy Duran. Well, to work with someone that's five, six years old and plays with the poise and skill of a touring pro is really amazing. Working with Tiger, I never saw it before. He was the first. This diminutive tigress may come in a small package, but her skill level and knowledge of the game is quite substantial. Amazingly, her favorite golfer isn't the player you'd think. Kathy Whisper. Because she has 88 LPGA tournaments. Hours or weeks spent on the range and putting green while most girls her age are playing with friends. So where does the line get drawn for a six-year-old seemingly giving up her childhood for extremely lofty goals? I think I win, but if I don't win, I just try to get second. The chances of her getting on the LPGA are great. If she keeps up with what she's doing now, sky's the limit. I think she's gonna do for the LPGA what Tiger Woods did for the PGA Tour as far as money, as far as viewers, as sponsors. She'll be a market, she'll be a name. It's pretty windy now, but it's going to the left. I gotta aim to the right, okay, yeah. If you're trying to control an outcome, you could definitely have some problems. If it happens, it happens. Would probably be a better 
way to go about it. Kids are starting to play very seriously at an early age, and to me, there are going to be positive and negative outcomes in any situation that you put a kid in. As long as you're looking out for and trying to minimize the negatives and really accentuate the positives, then I think it's going to be okay. It's a fine line, and, and I think that's what's so tough about it. You get your ball, you target. Okay. That's all you gotta do. Focus. He's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, the golf world has seen many young players with overwhelming talent labeled golfing prodigy, many of which never reach their desired dream. Golf needs to be fun. And 12 and under, for the most part, I would say that you really need to be developing the love for the game. Taking this seriously for such a long period of time certainly could lead to burnout. It also could lead to getting the experience and, and the hours and hours of great coaching and great opportunities that you need to become a great athlete. If you have everything together, golf, schooling, you won't have to burn out. Now, of course, if you just make golf your, your priority matter, and that's all you do all the time without doing anything else, and yes, burnout could definitely happen. I don't think burnout for her will be a factor. The measuring stick is what is Amari going to think of herself five to ten years from now? If she feels good about where she is, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. The question as to whether Amari Avery is a case of too much too soon or the perfect balance of nature versus nurture won't be answered for many years. But one thing is certain, Amari is indeed a fantastic golfer who at age six is showing a tremendous passion for the game. We do feel and have great pride in her. We enjoy watching her play. And for us to see her enjoy playing, that gives us a huge high. When you see a kid out there playing and they just hit this wonderful shot into a green, and you yourself know that you couldn't hit that shot, that's an awesome feeling. Just to watch your child out there playing like that, striping the ball like she does, can't beat it. She has a talent, she has the gift, and as long as we can feed it and give it, she can do it. I will be there. It's easy to see why she's considered one of the top young golfers in the country. But with the LPGA many years away, the final chapter of Amari Avery's story is far from being written. Next on Golf in America, the Golden Bear reminisces about a special childhood round of golf with his father.